create a template for your engineering drawings using Fusion 360. You can see here, this is the template I've created previously. It's got fields that are going to be automatically filled in by Fusion 360. You can tell what they are because they've got these symbols on either end. So the computer will automatically tell you that I was the creator, the date it was made, the title that comes from the file, what scale it is, and what the page number is. I can also put in their materials and so on, but I like to fill those in by hand just in case I want to do a different version and don't want to have to change those details in Fusion 360. We're going to run you through how to draw the lines, how to create the different types of text, how to put images in. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Fusion account, go to New Drawing, New Drawing Template. Create the template from scratch using the ISO standards. Ensure it's in millimeters and make sure that it's A3. One thing to remember though is if you do plan on printing out an A4, make it A4. So it will be worth going in, making yourself an A4 template, an A3 template, even possibly an A2 template, if you plan to work to that size. Now that we're in, we double click on the title block edit the title block, it will tell us that we cannot edit the default title block, which we don't mind because we're going to delete it anyway. We're going to add our own new title block. We're going to work from the existing title block so that we keep these grid marks around the outside. So we've got a reference for how big our title block will actually be once we've drawn it. We can give it a name. I'm going to call mine DPI TPV1A. So first thing I want to do is to go in and delete all of this information. You can see this is all information that would have been filled in by Fusion. That's why it's the default title block. It just takes all the information that Fusion has for the drawing that you've already created, the CAD drawing, and dumps it into this title block. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit to the standards that most of us are working to, so goodbye. Then what we're going to do is draw in our own title block. Just for now, I like to draw in some corners just to work within it, and then I'll be finishing the title block, opening and closing it in order to check whether or not it conforms to the size I want. But to start with, I like to start with just a box to work with, and then inside there, I'm going to put in my first piece of text. So I draw a box, put that in, and it's going to be drawn by. Once you're happy with the font, the height, any of the other details, just press close. Then we want to put the attribute that we know that Fusion will use for this file. So we click on attribute, click on the screen, choose the attribute which just happens to be drawn by, and then if we want to change the height and the size we can, or the justification, and then if we want to do the next one, we can draw some lines in. Now obviously this could be quite a long name or it could be a short name. It, if you're working to BS8888, then this will be the initials, so you know it's going to be pretty short. Let's just draw this line in there, just to section that off for now. And then we're going to put another one in. So I'm just roughly blocking this in to start with. Then we're going to put in date. Put another attribute in. And again, I'm just blocking this in nice and quick so you can see how it works. Create a date, put in a line. And you can move all these lines, erase them, draw them back in, however you want to, to fit all the information you need in. Now what we want to do over here is to put the logo of the business that's being worked for. Oh, that's wrong. Let's delete that. That's terrible. So the business that creates the original drawing, we want to put their logo in. So we just go to image, select the image you want to use for your logo, open it up, click on the screen, now you can see it's already too big, so I can take the scale down till it fits in the space I want. That'll do. If I find afterwards that actually this is a wasted space, it's far too big. So for example, if I go to finish title block, I look at that and think, actually on an A3 page, that's far too large. Double click it again, edit title block, click on my image, and then go to one of the corners and just drag it down. You can see it keeps the proportions the same, so you don't have to fiddle around with making it fit the original proportions. And then I can move that about as I wish. For now, I'm just going to leave it there. So as you can see, by playing around with all these different things, you can create a title block that looks like this. Once we're happy with our title block, we simply go to 
finish title block, file, save, choose the project you wish to save it in. I'm going to save it in the demo and I'm going to call it version 1b. Save. Then when you want to print a blank template, you can always output it as a PDF. And you can save it into here. So done. Then we can always go to our PDF, open it up, print out a blank template if we're doing hand done drawings. But if we're working in Fusion, we can then use this template in Fusion when we export our drawings and it's already filled in all the information we need.